Welcome everyone. This is Howie Schwartz and this is the free Offer Vault webinar training series. It is awesome to have you guys here with us live. I always encourage that everyone participate live when you can. We do this every Tuesday night together at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, and we try to focus on your questions, your niche markets, your affiliate offers. So it's always great to participate live when you can so we can help you. If you are listening to a replay, that's excellent. And we do encourage everyone to go to the free training tab. Make sure you're logged in to Offer Vault, and then you're going to be able to see all of our webinars. So just a tremendous amount of webinars that are available. So again, we do encourage you to, to watch all of the, the replays and to, to partake in all of the awesome training. We're really covering a lot of ground from free traffic, which we're going to continue tonight, organic traffic and SEO, to paid traffic, to competitive research, paper call. Uh, two months ago, three months ago, something like that, maybe even longer, is when we started uh, this series and we started talking about how to apply to affiliate networks. So again, lots of content and hope you guys are going through it, but do please try to participate live whenever you can. Okay, great. So tonight uh, we're going to continue talking about my favorite type of traffic, organic traffic, traffic generated from SEO, search engine optimization. And what I've mentioned in the past is free traffic is not only the best type of traffic because it's free free it's because it converts so well and the reason why it converts so well is it, it really kind of digs into the the intent of the searcher right you're able to solve the problem with your content and then hopefully with your offers to monetize directly what your searcher and or you know the intent of the searcher what they're direct directly typing in so i'm a huge fan of organic traffic for for those reasons and of course because it's free traffic so organic traffic is also the most difficult traffic and the reason why is it because it requires some effort and some planning and it takes time to see the the you know the fruits of your labor when you're running paid traffic you know you can launch a very quick campaign on Google or a very quick campaign on on Facebook and as soon as it's approved you know sometimes within hours or even even less right depending on what network you're running on you could start to see the fruits of that labor labor the benefits of of that traffic very very quickly when it comes to Organic traffic and SEO, it's really about planting seeds, you know, tilling the field. You know, I'm not, I'm not a farmer, so I don't have great farming references, but you get my point. You know, you kind of have to, to, to start and really have a strategy and, and a plan and to start to see those results over a period of time. <laughs> so you can start to see benefits from an existing site. So a site that you know, let's say has been online and sort of indexed by Google, and I'll explain what that means in a little bit tonight. So let, let's say that there's a site that's already been indexed by Google and you're already receiving some ranking and some organic traffic. Well, the beauty of that is as soon as you post a new article or, or a blog post, right, or any new content, that very often is going to be indexed by Google fairly immediately. And you can start ranking for that content you know, right away or, or sometimes in a matter of days or, or a week. The challenge is with a brand new website or blog is it takes time for Google to, to start to show some respect and start to build authority for that blog or site. And that's really something that's very important to consider. So the best time to start a site, the best time to start marketing for your affiliate content is today or even better, you know, three months ago, right? Because it takes time for, for Google to start to build that trust and authority in, in your content. So launching a, a new site is, is not going to generate that, you know, sort of quick feedback, that immediate results that you're going to see very often 
when you're running paid traffic just because it takes time to, to build that authority and, and respect. And it could take anywhere from a year plus to start seeing Google to consistently rank and respond to your site, sometimes longer for even more competitive niche markets. And pretty much everything that we talk about in organic traffic scales with the competitive of the niche. So when you're going after these really what I like to call money keywords or rich niches, rich keywords, right? Keywords that are going to be very potentially profitable for you and your affiliate offers, right? Those are going to take even longer to rank for and either even longer to establish yourself as an authority. So that's why it's important that we think about the long tail of search that we've talked about in previous webinars where we can really kind of dig in and you know, understand what it takes to, to rank for you know our uh, our keywords and, and our niches. So we are going to to dig a little bit today and talk more about the long tail. And we're going to talk about how to make Google think about your site as an authority. And that's really one of the most important things that we can plan is for the long term. Is is how do you start to have a content strategy? This sort of map of content that you're going to develop, develop over time on a consistent schedule. And we'll talk about the importance of consistency in, in a little bit um, to really train Google and the Google bot, which is a spider, which we're going to get into when we talk about indexing in a little bit, how to train Google to come back to your site and to look and index and rank new content on a very regular frequent basis as you publish it. So consistency, frequency is very, very important when we're thinking about organic traffic. So if anyone else would like me to look at <clears throat> your niche market, please do type it in and, and I'd, I'd be happy to, 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 to review it. So let's talk about indexing. Let's talk about you know training Google spiders or Google's web crawlers, right? The Google bot. And let's talk about really what it takes to understand how to be an authority, search engine visibility, and then overall kind of ranking your site for the top of the search engine, search engine results so you can start to get that, that beauty, get the beauty of, of organic free traffic to your sites and your affiliate offers. But first, let's talk about what we do each and every week. When we start our webinars live after the webinar, or if you are watching a replay, wait till the replay is done, then I want to see everyone do this each and every week. This is the number one secret to super affiliates. They are continuously applying for new affiliate networks every week, and they're always testing new offers, new niche markets, and you know, diversifying the monetization channels and the types of offers that they're running. So each and every week, pick 10 affiliate networks that you have, that you have not applied to already and just go and, and apply to them. So you could do this by network name. You could also do this by looking at, at offers that you might be interested in. So again, just always be applying for affiliate networks. It is critical. And again, you can go back to the, the August series of, of webinars, go back a few pages in the webinar replay, and you'll be able to, to see the two webinars that we did actually on, on your best practices to get accepted by a new affiliate network. So I can't encourage this enough, and I repeat it each and every week because it is the number one step to start to understand how super affiliates are succeeding. Okay, so let's see who has been typing in niche markets. So again, that is one of the key reasons to try to attend live so we can look at your niches in real time. So Paula wants to see CBD. So very popular market right now uh, with affiliates. So let's take, take a look at, oop, I typed in COD, sorry, cash on delivery. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, well, the CBD market works pretty well, so maybe it, it could be like cash on delivery. Hang on. Why is this CBD? There we go. Sorry. There we go. So CBD, hemp oil. Um, I am not going to make any judgments on niche traffic that anyone's running. Uh, 
you know, if people are running adult offers or CBD offers or whatever it is, my, my opinion and my comment is always run what you're comfortable with. You should never run an offer that you're not comfortable with. So even if someone says it's the best thing in the world, you want to always build traffic and run offers that you're comfortable with the niche market. So, so maybe some people on this webinar or some people watching the replay that are not comfortable with marketing CBD, and that's fine. You also want to understand, you know, sort of the, the rules and in any of, um, any of the, the jurisdictions that you might be marketing in, uh, there are, uh, you know, advertising networks that are allowing and then not allowing kind of paid traffic. So it's kind of, you know, one of these gray areas in, in marketing. So that's just something that, that I kind of wanted to, to mention. But again, always run things that, that you're comfortable with. It's a niche I'm very interested in. It could be very profitable. I know a lot of affiliates who are very successful in this right now. And it's also a great opportunity to focus on free traffic because as paid traffic rules keep on changing on what you can and cannot run on different networks and social and things like that for CBD, guess what? Organic traffic is going to, to continue to scale as more people are educated about this market. So this is a great one for us to look at for um, you know, look at for uh, for organic traffic. So I'm just taking a look here. CBD, CBD oil, CBD gummies. CBD oil pain relief cream. Again, I like to get into the long tail of search. And the reason why I, I am focused on the, the long tail is it becomes less competitive, right? And also it's going to get closer down the, the buying funnel, like the intent of the searchers further along. So when someone's just typing in CBD, it's very generic. They're just researching it. They're trying to understand it. If someone starts, starts typing in a brand name they're ready to buy, or if they're looking for CBD oil for pain relief or pain relief cream or something like that, it's very specific. And this is how we can start to directly solve the problems of our prospects, right? Solve the problems of consumers, right? And that's one of the key things that we want to start to, to think about. So let's let's look at this. Let's see CBD oil pain relief cream, and we could even look look at CBD pain relief cream. So again, this is how we start to to get into the long tail of search. So this is running on Max Bounty, and this is running on Smart Ad at Smart Ad ADV Network. So again, this is another great reason why you want to apply for multiple networks. So you can start to run this offer on both of the the networks and again you start to see you know very similar payout within a few dollars and i like to diversify right and build relationships with multiple multiple affiliate networks and and that's uh not only to run the the same offer right from the same advertiser across multiple networks but also to look at adjacent or, or other similar offers so this is sort of a, a great a great example so let's take a look here and let's start to think about the long tail. So when we start with just CBD, start to see 152 million results. Um, I've talked about this in a lot of webinars where I love to use Google Suggest, Google Auto Complete. So I'm going to write all of this down. We're going to scroll down to the bottom. We're going to take a look at searches related to. We're going to write this down. I love, love, love people at also ask, and we've talked about this in previous webinars, to come up with more content ideas. So I'm a huge fan of leveraging this right here. And again, I like to write all of this down because these are great ideas for content. We're going to get back into this in a little bit. So now as we start to get to the long tail, now we're down to 5 million results, 5.5 million results. We put it in exact match down to 36 results. We get rid of the word oil here and just look at CBD pain relief cream, you know, 14,000 results. So now this is something that we can start to, to rank for and compete in. So, you know, to just go after the, the generic broad term of CBD, 
there's so many players who have been marketing this for such a long period of time, even though this is kind of fairly, you know, fairly kind of new in, 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 in the sense that, that it's just you know, becoming popular over the last few, few years. It, it's going to take a long time to rank for that sort of main keyword. And also, you don't know what people are looking for. They're looking for regulatory rules or to, to manufacture. Like, you don't know what they're looking for. When someone's getting more specific into the long tail, like CBD pain relief, cream, you can solve the exact problem that your prospects are, are looking for and trying to understand. So this is a this is just a great way to kind of drill down. And guess what? You have an offer that's available on multiple networks. Uh, you have a lot of adjacent offers here related to, to pain. So again, I'm just a huge fan of really, again, understanding this long tail of search. So again, I do the same process. I'm writing down all my search results related to. <clears throat> I'm looking for brand names, like Canna might be a brand name here. I'm writing down terms like pure, blends, things like that. Now we want to understand a little bit more why the sites that are consistently ranking at the top of Google for the markets that you're interested in, you know, why are they ranking there? So it all starts with understanding really a little bit about under the hood how search engines search engines work. So search engines have what are called bots or spiders. It's basically a little piece of code that goes out and crawls the web. That's why people would call them a search engine spider. And what it's doing, it's to trying to discover new links and new contents to index in the search engine. So for you to rank on Google or any other search engines, right? And there are some other search engines that, that matter, but I, I typically, as I mentioned, focused on Google. Because if you get Google right, you're going to start to see some of the traffic from, from Bing and, and Yahoo and, and whatnot. But really, Google is just, you know, the 6,000-pound gorilla in, in the room, right? Or that, that's really what we care about. So I just focus on ranking on Google, and then, you know, the other search engines um, will, will typically follow, follow suit, uh, at, at least, you know, uh, in, in some way, right, o over time. So to understand you know, how we start to get rankings on Google, first you need to be indexed. So you, you need to make sure that your content, your web pages, right, your blogs are crawlable, right? Something that can be indexed and read by the search engine. So that's why I love to use like a simple website builder or to use like WordPress as a blog builder because those just natively even without using a lot of fancy plugins and not worrying about a lot of templates, just out of the box, you know, they're, they're reasonably SEO friendly, right? And they're going to be able to be indexed by the search engines. So that to me is something really important to consider is, you know, how can content and how can your pages and blog posts be indexed by the search engines? And to be indexed is the first step. So the way I always joke about it is, you know, if a tree falls in <laughs> the forest and no one hears it, did it ever fall? Same thing is if you publish a website and Google doesn't crawl that page or Google doesn't index that content, you know, was it even really published, right? Does it, is it ever going to, to reach, you know, the, the mass market? And the answer is no, it's not. Sorry, just drinking some water. Um, so that's why it's really important to think about the visibility and how easy it is for Google, right, and their search engine Spider to crawl and index your pages and your content. When I mentioned before also on um, the importance of, of having a publishing schedule, consistency, frequency of your, your publishing is really important. Because what is happening is you are really going and training Googlebot, your know, Google Spider, Google's crawler, on the frequency and the consistency of you publishing new content. They're trained to come back to your site. So Google wants to be efficient in their resources. So if you publish a, uh, a post or an article or a piece of content and Google indexes your site, they may come back in three days or a week or something like that. If they don't find anything new, guess what? 
they might wait another three weeks or week. And if they come back again and don't find anything new, maybe they'll continue extending that period of time. And eventually they're not going to show up very often. And you're going to wonder why when you publish this great article you just spend all this time on, like why isn't Google racing to index this? Well, the answer is that you need to train Google, right? Really important to think about it. And the way to train Google is by having a consistency on on making sure that you are uh, again publishing content on a very very regular basis that's really you know the, the key that we need to think about here um, okay let's uh, let's now understand a little bit more about indexing and, and visibility let's take a look at some of these sites that are ranking really well on Google so some of the top positions so I'm going to take what's called the root of the domain. So I just want to understand the domain name, dot whatever the TLD is. The TLD is your extension. It could be .com, .net, .io, you know, whatever, whatever um, that site is doing here. And the way to understand visibility is site colon and then the root of the URL. So this site has 126 pages. We can start to see the type of content that they're publishing. You can see that they're using sort of a blog format here with collections, they have tags. And I've mentioned on previous webinars how I love content management systems like blogs because just an easy way without having to worry about any of the technical requirements of publishing content right out of the box a blog system such as you know, WordPress is, is relatively, again, SEO friendly. You know, we could spend, uh, we'll, we'll do a future webinar and talking about you know, how to optimize more WordPress, but just right out of the, right out of the gate, right out of the box, it's, it's pretty much SEO friendly. So we could start to see here these tags that are being used and whatnot. So this uh, might be actually an e-commerce platform. This may not be sort of a, a blog. But you know, e-commerce platforms are, can work well, and you can see how well this is being indexed also. So when we talk about, again, indexing or visibility of a site, you know, Google has indexed 126 pages. This is important for you to do on your own domain. So if you have you know, 500 pages of content and only, you know, only 10 of them are indexed, indexed by Google, then you know you're having some indexing issues. And we're not going to spend a lot, of, a lot of time on it tonight, but what you can do is you could just take a look at uh, the Google Webmaster Tools and start to run you know, site indexing and visibility reports and start to get reports and understand um, what the visibility of your site is and maybe any issues with indexing. So you know, we'll probably do a future webinar talking with, with some tips and tricks and, and understanding you know, how to benefit there. But this is sort of an important check for your own domain on how, ma how, how many pages that you've published and how many pages Google has indexed. That's you know, one of the key things to start thinking about. Let's take a look at another one of the competitors, this is Vital Body. This one is MedXCBD. So again, we take the root of the domain. You can put dub 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 in front of it or, or, or not, you know. And we can take a look here that this page, this site has 97 pages. So again, not a huge amount of content. Let me show you a huge site. So let's take a look at webmd.com. As an authority site, 5 million pages indexed, right? So I'm not saying you have to get to 5 million pages, but that's sort of the extreme, right, when we talk about levels of visibility and, and indexing. So kind of interesting. So these sites, you know, are not, you know, sort of these huge websites, um, which to me is something to, to consider. So you, you can start publishing content and, you know, there was a reasonable number of results on Google, you know, for kind of exact match um, for this long tail key phrase, you know, only 14,000 results. You know, this, this is not a, you know, a, a key phrase or, or sort of a topic that would be impossible to start to, to rank for, right? It's going to take some time. It's going to take some consistency as we discussed. But, you know, I'm not seeing here. You know, one, just a huge number of competitive results. And number two, I'm not, you know, seeing, you know, the first few sites here, 
that have you know sort of this this huge indexing level. Let's take so let's take a look at Leafly. So this is this is a much bigger site. It's one hundred and sixty three thousand pages. News and industry. Saying you're allowed to be here, 21 plus. So look again, I'm I'm not going to get into to, you know, uh, where you're marketing this. If 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 you're if you're going to market any any judgment or anything like that, as I mentioned before, you need to make sure that you are marketing what you're comfortable with. You know, nothing that we say on these webinars is ever legal advice. Nothing we ever say on these webinars is ever accounting advice. You need to do your own. You need to do your own diligence, see what jurisdiction you're marketing in. Again, always make sure that that you're comfortable. So this is an example of a, a larger kind of authority site with you know well over 100,000 pages indexed. So again, you always want to think about visibility. Next, we, as I mentioned, next, as I mentioned a little bit <clears throat> last week also, is thinking about you know, your page title. So your page title, even going on, you know, the 20 plus years that that you know I've been working on organic traffic and search engine optimization, your page title was always a critical component for 20 years plus. A lot of things have 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 come and 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 you know and 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 gone on on what takes what it takes to rank uh, a website effectively, but working with you know an important uh, you know, sort of working with and focusing on your page title is something that even, um, you know, 20 years on is still a key, key element. Let me see any other questions we have, any other niche markets that anyone wants to, to look at and then, okay, good. And we'll, con we'll continue. So please type, please continue typing in your niche markets and, and I'd be thrilled to, to get into them, uh, with you and for you. Um, okay. So as I mentioned on the previous webinar also, you know, is the important the importance of constructing our, our page our page titles. So we want to have page titles that that contain the key phrases and, and the keywords of, of interest. So things like pain cream, pain relief, CBD, right? Very very important. But also we want to have page titles that that are that are interesting that are gonna that are gonna draw the click that are gonna draw attention. So you don't necessarily have to. Be number one on Google. It always is is helps to be number one, right? It's great to be number one in everything, anything you can be number one in. But what's amazing is that you can start to to draw clicks when you're not number one or even in the top five. You know, being in on the bottom of page one on Google can still be very profitable and 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 still be an amazing driver of organic traffic as long as you have really strong, you know, kind of page title, something that's going to draw the click. So let's take a look here and see what's interesting. So CBD pain cream, 150 milligrams. You know, it's kind of specific, right? Someone's looking for that brand. Uh, topicals, pain relief cream, pain relief cream by the brand products. I mean, these aren't super exciting. You know, best. So these are keyword modifiers. This is interesting. So Cream solves bombs, rubs for pain. So this is getting you know, a lot of, of you know, the keyword modifiers, the types of pain relief um, elements from CBT that that's you know that's either cream or or, or or something you can you can rub. Right. This is kind of interesting, right? Um, this is this is Groupon, so a little bit different. This is kind of their 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 discount group buying site, right? But again, up to twenty eight percent off. So sometimes if something's a, as a discount. So here, I mean, this is interesting. So when I look at this. CBD pain relief cream. These again are getting towards the exact matches because you know we're here in this exact match within quotes, right? So we're looking at that exact phrase. If we open this up, we're going to probably start to see some more variety and maybe some different sites that start to, to rank here. So that's why it's important to start kind of thinking about exact match and then start to to broaden it up a little bit. So now we start to see here. Um, 150 milligrams, 300 milligrams. So I'm kind of writing that down and noting that lotion best. So we see the term best ranking reviews. So reviews are a wonderful way to develop content. I'm going to write that down. Uh, lotions, relief rub for pain relief. So again, the best topical reviews of the best, like this is to me, 
you know, something that that's a more interesting page title that's going to draw clicks. Do cannabis infused leaves you know, really work? That's sort of an interesting page title. Starts to get uh, something that builds a little intrigue. Your ten best, which is best. You know, can CBD oil relieve arthritis pain? It's again, uh, being a little bit more specific in the long tail, thinking about arthritis as, as part of pain. Kind of a great way to, to think about presenting your page titles, right? Is also focusing on, you know, asking it as, as a question, right? And then if your prospect has the same question, they're going to click on that, you know, to receive the answer. So I'm writing these down. I'm writing down the key phrases that the competitors are using. So, uh, topical CBD oil, CBD cream, right? So cream, oil, topical, the number of milligrams, blends I keep seeing. CBD oil for pain, which or cream or oil, which is better. I'm seeing rub coming in a lot. So again, you're gonna want to work these key phrases, keywords, you know, into your page titles and into your content. Effects, benefits, and uses. Best. So again, as we start to, to drill more and deeper into the search results, we're starting to see a lot of similarities. So, so creams and lotions, reviews. So I'm starting to write this down. Best. I see the term best come up a lot. Best, best. Arthritis I see again. So that to me is something that's pretty interesting. Five best. The benefits of. So this is kind of really what I like. I like, you know, developing these page titles that that have, you know, just a, you know a little bit more either curiosity or something that's controversial or something that's you know posing a question, something that's going to really drive and drive your 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 um you know drive your you know your prospect to to click on on your um. So I'm just looking at some questions as we're going on your results, even if you're on page two or, or page three, right? So CBD pain cream, 500 milligrams. Again, I'm writing down the number of milligrams here, pure. Now we can take a look and drill down a little bit more. CBD for arthritis. And we can look at arthritis pain relief. People also ask, again, I love Love this to develop content. And we're going to get back to this in a second. CBD arthritis, benefits, uses, and side effects. Can CBD oil help with arthritis pain? Again, great to ask questions. Research benefits, side effects. I've seen that word a few times. Is it safe and effective? This is super interesting. Remember I showed you WebMD, 5 million results indexed? This is towards the bottom or in the middle, like towards the middle of page one. So I'm seeing sites... Well, medical news today might you know might might be an authority. We could take a look at that. But I'm starting to see sites. Healthline's a huge one, but creaky drink creakyjoints.org. Highland Farms. So you know, all of a sudden we're seeing sites starting to rank outrank Healthline and WebMD, right? That's pretty impressive in arthritis.org, you know. That, that tells you that you have an opportunity here even to outrank some of the, some of the most authoritative sites you know, in, in your niche market or, or most authoritative sites you know, even online. So we start to see here video. So we've talked in the past the importance of, of putting your content out on video and having an interesting um, <laughs> page title. So you can start to rank not only on YouTube, but directly in the SERPs, the search engine result pages of Google. So I'm a huge fan of using video. And again, if you're not comfortable or don't want to shoot yourself with live video in front of a camera, then you do a screen capture, read in front of a PowerPoint. There's lots of different ways to, to generate video very quickly and efficiently. And again, to do that consistently to, um, to train Googlebot, to train the search engine results, right? So now we start to see transdermal. These are some new key phrases that I haven't seen before. Benefits of relief naturally. So again, I'm starting to write all of this down and really track it very closely. So 
it's not just a matter of just shoving the keywords in where you write CBD oil for, for pain relief is again, how do you write a page title that that's, that's more interesting. That's going to draw more clicks, something that's controversial, something that's creative, something that is inquisitive, something that's you know, literally a question, right? Something that is, is, you know, talking about best reviews, top reviews, you know, pointing out, you know, challenges, side effects, things like that. That's really going to draw the click. So that's um, a key thing that, that I'm going to recommend um, for, for everyone on this webinar. Awesome. That's it for tonight. And uh, we focused, you know, kind of deep in, into one niche market. We will look at additional niche markets and additional affiliate offers uh, for the next week. Again, this is Howie Schwartz for Offer Vault. We encourage you to join us live every Tuesday night. 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. If you're watching the replays, that is great too, but do try to join live so you can ask questions and go to the free training tab to access all of the free training sessions that we've done. And uh, we're going to drink, we're going to dr uh, dig deeper into SEO and organic traffic on the next webinar next Tuesday night, 9 p.m., 6 p.m. Pacific. And we're going to be talking more about understanding backlink backlinks and developing anchor text, distributing article content, distributing press releases. You really had to start building backlinks to build authority for your domain and how to start ranking for our keywords and our niche markets across the board on Google. And finally, 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 um, I would definitely recommend that, of course, that you every single week apply for uh, 10 affiliate networks. Hold on one second. I'm just addressing a question here. Great. Someone just asking about some replays. Um, so what I would do, again, is really try to make sure that you're applying for 10 affiliate networks each and every week. And that's it. Take massive action and look forward to seeing you live next Tuesday night at 9 p.m., 6 p.m. Pacific. Have a great night. This is Howie Schwartz for Offer Vault.